Houston, Texas, the largest city in the state, is the site for our college football matchup. And we couldn't have asked for better weather for today's game between the Rice Owls and the Texas El Paso Miners. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet to bring you today's intense action as this season continues. And look out, because we've got a great game coming your way. Rice looks no further than this young man when asked why they play such great defense. His coverage ability allows his defense to take more gambles with blitzes, and I don't think it'll be any different in this one. So the pregame routine's over, and we're ready for the coin toss. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. UTEP is going with a flex bone offense. Number 25 changes the play at the line. He looks to throw on first down. He's looking. He's pushed out of bounds at the 37. The 11 yard gain on the play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37 yard line. Texas El Paso comes out in a double wing. Number 25 is lined up under center. He's changing things up. Play action. He's under pressure. There he goes. He's got an opening. And they push him out at the 47-yard line. Gain of 16 on the play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. UTEP lines up with two wing backs. They're in the flex bone. Texas El Paso changing their play. Drops back on first down. He guns it. It's knocked away, incomplete. That one didn't have much of a chance. Well, guys, I tell you, here he needs to take a little bit off this pass. Otherwise, those big, tall defensive linemen are going to have a ton of knockdowns. Number 25 is lined up under center. The Miners changing their play at the line. He drops back. He scrambled. He takes off. He gets hit out of bounds at the 42. The Number 25 five gains about yard five yard yards on the scramble on the out of the pocket from the 42-yard line. It's third down. Number 25 is in the shotgun. He's got three receivers split out wide. Number 25 adjusts the play at the line. Looking to throw. Looking. Fires deep down the right side, and it's caught, and they tackle him Number at the six-yard line. The How about that completion? Whoa, this play is predicated by the blitz of the defense. Offensive line did a nice job up front, and the quarterback made a great read and a heck of a throw connecting with his deep target. First down. Here we go from the five-yard line. Back to pass. He's on the run. There he goes. Tackle made at the three-yard line. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. Second down and goal. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Looks to pass. Rolling out to the right side. Touchdown, Miners. A short run gets them the score. Those offensive linemen just abuse their counterparts, huh, Kirk? You bet, Coach. They got the push they needed for the score. Nice play to take the three-point lead here early in the first quarter. The question now is... The offense will start at the 37-yard line. The Miners come out in a double wing. The Miners changing their play at the line. Oh, 
Drops back to pass. He guns it. The defender had it and then dropped it. He just couldn't find the handle. That poor kid looked like he was trying to catch a greased pig. Easy, Scooter. At least he kept the receiver from making the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Number 25 lines up under center. Number 25 adjusts the play at the line. He drops back. He's scrambling. Bounces off a would-be tackler. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. Maybe a few, but that's it. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 39. The Miners line up in a double wing. It's absolutely deafening down there. UTEP changing their play. Looks to pass. He steps up under pressure, and he can't get away from the pressure. He couldn't avoid the sack there, Coach. Yeah, that protection is gone. They'll start at the 24-yard line. The Miners line up in a double wing. The Miners audible to something else. Drops back to pass. Looks. He keeps it. Steps out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Gain of 18 on the play. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 42. Number 25 is under center. Three wide formation. Number 25 lines up under center. Three receivers wide. Drops back on first down. Rolls to the right. He's under pressure. He's knocked out of bounds at the 47-yard line. That'll be a gain of five. Five-yard gain on the play. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 47. Texas El Paso comes out in a double wing. Easy, easy, easy. The Miners audible to something else. He drops back. Looking. It's complete. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Not a bad pickup that time. Yeah, but let me tell you the reason why this play worked. The defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback. And he made them pay right there. They're calling an audible. Looking to throw. He scrambled. Catches it. Tackle made at the 28. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. Number eight is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Number 25 changes the play at the line. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. He's wrapped up for the sack. So it's the defensive end that comes up with a sack. Again, they brought the blitz, and the defensive end was able to get free and fight his way into the quarterback. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. The Miners audible to something else. Drops back to pass. He steps up. The senior makes the catch. They hooked up for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They design plays specifically for him, like the one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdowns. They'll go to work at the 28-yard line. First down, 10 to go. UTEP lines up in the double wing. Texas El Paso using an audible. Drops back to pass. He's on the run. Throws on the run. 
And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. Yeah, this guy's not going to burn too many guys deep, but he's definitely a good possession guy who you can rely on. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Number 25 lines up under center. Number 25 doesn't like what he sees. Back to pass. He's going to try and scramble. He decides to run with it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 43-yard line. On the run. Gain of 12 on the play. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. Number 25 is lined up under center. The Miners changing their play at the line. Drops back on first down. He wants it all going long. Look like offsides. Here's the official call. They got across the line a bit too soon. Give the quarterback some credit here for using his cadence to draw the defense offsides. Three wideouts here. UTEP changing their play. Drops back to pass. Can't find anyone open. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. A big time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He simply used power to slide right through and come up with a pressure to bring down the quarterback. He only lost about a yard there on the sack, so we'll start this down with similar field position. Number 25 steps to the line of scrimmage. Two backs in the eye. Look at the throw. Looking, throws it out there. This one is batted away. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and a ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. The Miners come out with the wing backs. They're in the flex bone. UTEP using an audible. He drops back. He's on the run. He gets the pass away. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. They couldn't get the first down. They'll go to work at the 28-yard line. Number 25 lines up under center. Three receivers in the formation. The Miners come out showing three wide. They're calling an audible. Drops back to that. Looks. He throws it. And this one's broken up. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there. But I don't think he saw the linebacker. I don't know how you could miss him. He's huge. And he came up with a very, very nice play. UTEP lines up in the double wing. Number 25 calls an audible. He drops back. Surveys the field. It's knocked away incomplete. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, the Owls, 24, the Miners, 14. First and 10. Number 25 is lined up under center. Number 25 adjusts the play at the line. They'll throw on first down. That close to being intercepted. The offense caught a break there. That was not a very good pass by this quarterback. Yeah, Coach, he threw it right into the hands of the defender. He's lucky that he couldn't hold on to it. That's why this kid is on defense and not offense. The Miners changing their play at the line. He drops back. He looks. He keeps it. He's still going. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Gain of 22 on the play. From the 47-yard line, 
It's first down. The Miners line up in a double wing. Try to change the play. Back to pass. Now he's scrambling. He's picked it off. This time it's the safety. Stiff arm. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback size and even a better catch. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Number 25 is lined up under center. UTEP changing their play. He's looking to pass. Now he tries to buy some time. He goes out of bounds at about the 49. Gain of 12 on the play. From their own 49-yard line. First down, Texas El Paso comes to the line with three wide. Rally! UTEP Rally! using an audible. Rally! Drops back to pass. <laughs> Stepping up. And that one's incomplete. That was one of the prettiest passes that this quarterback has had when it comes to just laying it up there. But one thing I noticed, that if he just put a little bit more air under it, then the guy could run underneath it. Yeah, a little bit more of a touch there from the quarterback, and that's a big play. Texas El Paso is going with a flex bone offense. Drops back to pass. Now he's scrambling. He keeps it. He's out of bounds at the 39-yard line. With the carry. Gain of 12 on the play. First and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. UTEP comes out in a double wing. He's changing things up. Easy, easy, easy. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He takes off. He's got an opening. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. With the tackle. Gain of 16 on the play. They line up at the 23. First down. They come out in a double wing. Try to change the play. Looks to pass. He throws. Tipped away. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. Texas El Paso is going with a flex bone offense. Eagle! Eagle! Number 25 changes the play at the line. Drops back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. Complete. Wait a second. They put the points on the board, but they might have to take them down. My goodness, guys, that was a spectacular play by the First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. UTEP lines up in the double wing. Number 25 adjusts the play at the line. They'll throw on first down. He looks. No one open, so he's going to run. He has some room. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 45. 15-yard gain on the play. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Number 25 lines up under center. He's changing things up. Back to pass. 
He's looking. The Cavalry's coming. And he's going to come up with a sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before he even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Second and long. The Owls will defend with a nickel. Number 25 lines up under center. Setting up the play action. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 47. 25 on the carry. 13-yard gain on the play. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 47. Number 25 with three wide receivers. The Miners audible to something else. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. Fires a bullet out to the right. We got a flag down on the field. Might have been offsides. And he helped the offense with that penalty. And you have to be careful here because the offense will get a free play, which could become even more costly than the five-yard penalty. First down, 10 to go. Delta. Ball on the 42. Delta. They're calling an audible. Delta. Drops back on first down. He steps up. He's going to try and scramble. Looks like he's going to run. And they make the stop around the 22-yard line. On the run, gain of 20 on the play. First and 10. Number 25 comes to the line with three wide. UTEP lines up with two wingbacks. They're in the flex bone. Penalty markers down. They took too much time. I think they just had some trouble getting the right play in there. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Thunder! Texas El Paso using an audible. He drops back. Can't find anyone open. He decides to run with it. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 14-yard line. 13-yard gain on the play. From the 14-yard line, it's second down. The Miners line up in a double wing. UTEP lines up in the double wing. Number 25 adjusts the play at the line. looking to pass. Now he's scrambling. Throws it. Wow. Not a smart pass. He thought he could squeeze it in there. Yes. Now the next time he does that, he better be ready to make a tackle. They'll pick him off if he's not careful. Texas El Paso comes out in a double wing. UTEP changing their play. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. They'll bring the ball back and mark off some yards against them. Third down again. Oh, yeah, and those types of mistakes kill drives more times than not. The defense now really trying to get the crowd into it. Pass. Looks to the end zone. Touchdown, UTEP. What a perfectly thrown ball by this young quarterback. He's gone through a rapid maturation, and that's elevated the level of play for his teammates. If I was a scout, I'd make sure I bring lots of notebook paper to this young man's games. First and 10. Ball on the 34. Number 25 is lined up under center. They come to the line in the flexbone formation. 
He's changing things up. First down, look at the throw. He's going to try and scramble. And now he's going to improvise. He might have gained a yard on that scramble. We've played three, and we're locked in a tight one with a score. Texas El Paso, 28. Rice, 24. Rice, 24. It's second and eight. Number 25 lines up under center. Three receivers split out. Number 25 lines up under center. UTEP changing their play. He drops back. Looks. Scrambling around. And down he goes. At about the 47-yard line. Gain of 18 on the play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47. They come out with three wide receivers. They're changing the play. Looks to pass. Looks. He's on the run. And now he's going to improvise. He has some room. He can't get him, and he's still going. Great run for the first down and more. Great, great effort here by the running back. They had him locked up in the backfield, but he broke free and just flew down the field for a huge game. That kid that missed a tackle in the backfield is kicking himself right now. That was a sure loss turned into a huge gain. Wow. First and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line. Number 25 is lined up under center. Easy, easy, easy. The Miners audible to something else. Back to pass. He passes it. And this one's broken up. Number eight was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second down. It's second and 10. Number 25 steps to the line of scrimmage. Two tight ends in the formation. They're changing the play. He drops back. He scrambled. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. And they'll probably try to throw here. They line up on third down and 14. Rice brings in their nickel package. Number 25 changes the play at the line. Looks to pass. Can't find anyone open. No one open, so he's going to run. Here he goes. They finally have him, but now it's first and goal. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. Let me tell you something. The biggest compliment you can give a coach is that his team is playing hard. And you're right. These guys are playing real hard right now. UTEP is trying to make this a two-score game. Texas El Paso lines up with three receivers. The Miners audible to something else. There was some movement along the line. Let's get the call. UTEP first down here, trying to make it a two-score game. make the stop at the one yard line and he tried to run it sometimes having a quarterback run with the ball can be effective if the defense isn't expecting it but they were all over him on that play from the one yard line it's second down Texas El Paso 
will line up in a jumbo set here, trying to change the play. Looks to pass, and he's going to be sacked. He really got in there. There wasn't anything stopping him from getting the sack. These guys love sacks. It makes their stat sheet look a lot better. They'll line it up just inches away from the goal line. It's third and goal. They're calling an audible. Drops back to pass. Rolls right. Touchdown, UTEP. And that just about puts this game out of reach, fellas. More than anything, the defense really needed a stop. Now, this has become an uphill battle. And the hill keeps... UTEP lines up with a great opportunity to put this game to rest. Texas El Paso is going with a flex bone offense. He may have changed things up here. Looking to throw. He zips it. Complete. They'll bring him down at the 30. Good pickup by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves the play. He wants the ball every time they throw it. They line up at the 30. It's first down. Rice just took their first time out. They're lining up in the 5-2. UTEP changing their play. Drops back to pass. Stepping up. Rolling out to the right side. Scrambling around. No one open, so he's going to run. Brought down around the 27-yard line. The Owls call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. They line up at the 27. Second down. Number 25 is under center. Number 25 lines up under center. Two tight ends in the formation. The Miners audible to something else. He's looking to pass. He rifles it to the right. Caught. Big play, and it's first and goal. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. It's first and goal. We're down to just a minute in this game. Number 25 lines up under center. Three receivers split out wide. They're changing the play. Back to pass. Scrambling around. Touchdown, Miners. Well, they were doing everything they could to find their way out of this hole, but the hole just got a lot deeper. You're right, Brad. You can see the offense down there walking on the sideline. You've got to believe they're going to come out with the quarterback in the gun and run a little no huddle. Yeah, but he better buckle up that chin strap because... And here's the Pontiac game-changing performance. 